is 10.3 remove even length. We're starting with array list uh, methods that we're going to get into. We want to write a method called remove even length. It takes an array list of strings as a parameter and removes all of the strings of even length from the list. Now, as always, try this on your own first, but if you want help or want to check your answer, this is what we're doing. So we're going to make a public static void because we're not returning anything, just editing. We have our name and inside of here, we take an array list with our type inside of these carrots, call it list. And now we are in our uh, class or not class function. So inside of our function, we want to basically do a check of even um, numbers or even values for these elements, the length. So we want to check length. That's what we want to do. We want to run through this entire list though. So let's do for loop. We're going to do in a is equal to zero. And we're going to run this as long as a is less than our list dot size. And then we can increment this every single time so that we can get eventually get to the end a plus plus. Now inside of this for loop, we're really only going to have one thing, this one check. If the current element is even, we want to remove it. So if list dot get this element modulus two is equal to zero, that means it's even, we are going to want to do a list dot remove where we pass in this index. So we take it away. Now, here's the thing with this. If we have something that is like, um, this is a ball, something like this. If we are at index zero, right? And we remove index zero, now we're going to be at index one. Well, the problem is we completely missed is because a is index one. So what we need to do is if we get rid of something, we're going to have to decrement what we're looking at. So we're going to do a minus minus. And this if statement, we can end our function and that should be it. If you have any questions, ooh, let's see. Oh, before we get to the questions part, Remember to do list.get and then pass in the um, variable a that's determining which one we're getting. And we're going to want to do length so that we get the actual length of the string at this index. And that'll pass four out of four tests. So if you do have any questions, you can leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you. If you want more exercises, they're in the playlist below the like button.